what's up boxing fans? This is the Rope and Dope Report. We're gonna at an Italian restaurant here in Stockholm. This is a preview fight. This is your host Chris Carlson by the way. It's a preview fight. We're kinda in the middle of Stockholm here. It's a preview fight for the David Hay versus Nikolai Belva, or however you say his name, Nikolai the Giant is like I like to call him. And anyone that's fans of Nikolai the Giant. Please don't take this wrong. It just I gotta I gotta tell the truth, and I, I really just don't think he has a lot of skill. I think he's just a big guy, and if he had skill, he should go to the NBA because he's like seven foot, 300 pounds. He could make millions and millions not getting hit in the head. Basically, I, I really think he's just the record is way over bloated, to be honest with you. Um, John Ruiz and Evander Holyfield are way past their prime, and Holyfield beat them in what is a boring fight. Really, the only way that you can beat Nikolai is a, in a boring, really boring fight. You gotta stick and move, stick and move, stick and move. Um, David Hay, you know, I guess for height wise, it's, it's not a bad fight. I know with the Klitschko brothers, he was gonna have to fight Vitaly, he was gonna have to fight both of them and maybe rematch one, if not both of them. You kind of get stuck into a contract with him or with the Klitschko brothers. So I think it's a smart fight, much easier fight. I think the only thing that Hay has to worry about, obviously, is getting inside and getting hit with the big mammoth punches. Although, like I said, I don't think he's that coordinated. I think he's kind of a joke, to be honest with you. And I know maybe his fans that watch this are not going to like it, but I think he's a joke. I think he's almost like a circus act. He's more athletic, I guess, than Butterbean, but I don't know what that says. Anyway, um, I think if David Hay, the only challenge he'll have is not trying to knock him out. And I think he's smart enough not to just go for the knockout. Basically, if you stun him, then start to be aggressive. But you have to stick and move one shot at a time, keep moving. Obviously, he's probably going to do a lot more cardio. I guess that's the only thing I, I'd say Hay could get beat by trying to go for the knockout. So, um, otherwise, I really think this is a pretty easy fight for him because of his fast hands. Like I said, an old, but 46-year-old um, Evander Holyfield beat him. Should have beat him anyway. Um, and John Ruiz, some people think he beat him. Basically, the only quality opponent that was young, actually, that he went against, he got beat by. So, I really don't think much of this guy. And I think David Hayes should, should beat him as long as he stays patient. This has been another edition of the David Hay, the tap, or the tap, David Hay, uh, Nikolai, the giant, Roba Dope Report. We have a, um, well, maybe, hopefully, I can see this in the U.S. Otherwise, we have to just stream it online. Anyway, this is the Rope and Dope Report. I'm your host, Chris Carlson. Peace.